What's up guys, today we are going to do uh, PUBG on Ninja Dog Extra 1 As you can see the control is there And before we begin to play PUBG All you need to do is You need to download this app on your device And name of the app is a Shooting Plus V3 So when you start this app you can see it shows that you need to uh, your device is disconnected so you have to switch on your device and then once you scan so I'm just going to keep my device here and I'm going to switch on power on my ninja dog so for that I need to start on mode 1 so mode 1 is here mode 2 is here and the third mode is the charging okay so let's start so I'm going to press X I'm going to press power button and as you can see it is flashing it is it is on so it is on and here on my device it is connected okay so i'm just going to go back and i'm going to show you that once you open it you have to go to the pubg and then go to a preview so once you go to the preview you can see uh, this layout so same layout you have to assign for your mapping purpose so what do I mean by mapping? Let me just show you. I'm going to close this because I have already saved it and uh, selected it as uh, the preset. Okay, so you can see my preset is here. So as if I show you my preset, uh, I have download to home button. Okay, so what is download to home button? I mean to see is uh, let me just go on to the app. So I'm going to open PUBG. And before I connect this to my gamepad, all I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the cover of my device and then I'm going to put this into the controller. Okay, so this is done. This floating icon of the app. So when I press this icon, uh, the floating button, I can see all the buttons of the preset so how to assign this so i'm going to close and i'm going to go over to setting once i go to the setting i will go to controls then i will select customize control and then i'm going to customize here i can see the layout of pubg button and now i'm going to do the mapping so for mapping purpose i'm going to click the floating icon of shooting plus v3 app and then i have already assigned it so even if you mess up all the buttons like i'm going to mess it up i'm going to completely make a complete mess okay so complete mess is already done so you can see most of the buttons are disappeared but the layout is still there so where do all the buttons go the button go in the center so you can pick one one button and then you assign it the way you want it okay so this is the only reason i showed you with confidence that you can mess up all the buttons and then you can reassign it on the layout so when you're done with uh you know uh assigning or mapping just save it so when you save it you save to the app you save to the preset scheme okay and also if you select you can select from a switch to home pre switch to preset home now what is preset home so this is the home button okay and this is the up left right and down so you can press for three seconds and you can choose the preset that is another shortcut so i have already saved it so even if i mess up it's not going to make a big deal because my safe mapping is right here so i'm going to close it i'm going to get i'm going to close and then i'm just going to start the match and just for the entertainment purpose i have kept my two buttons which is here this is for jumping out of the aeroplane you can see you cannot hear the sound because i have kept the sound on mute okay so this is me running this is me jumping and this is me going to the helicopter let's go to as you can see the game is on So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go anywhere in this map 
and then I'm going to jump out of the plane with my M1 button which is situated on the back of this device. You jump, see I have jumped without letting you know. Nobody knows where I'm jumping. So I can move around anywhere. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I'm just going to M2 for opening the door, I'm going to open, I'm going to pick up some guns, I got the gun, I'm very much hungry to kill somebody, let's get out and kill someone, just for the entertainment purpose. So I can aim, I can take shot, I can fire in the air, completely do anything that I want, okay, that's enough. And I'm going to switch this off and I'm going to show you some other games. So for that we need to switch to the second mode that is uh, you can see the first light and you're going to see the second light. And to do that all you have to do is you have to turn off. Okay once you're done turning off close all the app and then power on with you can see the square button. This is square and X. This is A and X. So I'm going to call it the square button and then I'm going to power on. So square, power on. You can see the second light is flashing. I'm going to go over to the Bluetooth and go click details and I'm then going to connect and pair. Okay, so we are connected again on the second mode. Beta 3K in the house, yo. So I'm going to get started with tennis. So before I think I've already set the controls. So now for controls you have to click controllers. Then you have to choose D3 consumer control and then that's all. Okay. Sounds good to you. Let's press X. Let's get started. I'm going to skip all the introduction. And I'm just going to get started. It's already late. It's 2 a.m. in the morning, bro. All right, all right. Let's skip the introduction quickly. No time on earth. All right, so uh, D3, yes. Okay. So I think it is now connected. Oh, I missed it. I missed it completely. I'm going to take the revenge. Okay, here we go. The revenge is taken. I have got a point. Close this quickly and then I am going to switch to Aether SX. This is my Aether SX. I'm going to connect and play. Any game that I have, so what game do I have? I have a Frogger. Okay, so even for this, you can do mapping. To do mapping, you have to press this back button. You have to go to the D pad. You can see the D pad. You have to click the D pad. You have to go to touch screen. Then you have to choose a uh, dual analog pad. Then once you select that, you have to go to port one. Then you have to do automatic mapping. Once you do automatic mapping, all the mapping of the buttons will be done. And once that is done, you can go back to the touch screen. You can choose the touch screen controller and port 1 has to be selected or port 2 wherever you do it. Then go back and if you want to stretch the screen, you can do it. I'm just going to hush hush and rush rush into the game. It's working and I'm dancing off. The frog is dancing, baby. Let's just jump and get up. And let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's just jump and zoop. Okay, so I'm going to close it, close it, and now I'm going to show you uh, how to play on PC. Okay, three with PC. So I'm just going to go over my Bluetooth settings. And once I'm here in the Bluetooth settings, I'm going to go inside the Bluetooth settings and it is going to take me here and then I'm going to switch on Bluetooth 
and then I will try to search Bluetooth device and look for it and then I am going to press RB and power button so RB and power button is here as you can see two lights are flashing and then I am just going to connect this controller and it is done ok and then I am going to start my steam so my steam is already set here just load it up I can play FIFA, Far Cry, I will just play Blur ok and let's start it's launching ok so everything is loaded up please wait ok so I am just going to start with the career mode and just play the, any race I want to just select every car and then I am just going to get started nice and easy so even if I want to drift I can drift in this game And woohoo! We are making progress. Let's just hit another one. Alright. So, that's all. And I hope you like my video. Subscribe my channel, guys. Thank you so much. 